everyone, my name is Christy and this is K. Michelle Art. I'm here today to introduce to you our Paint With Me series. Um, you might say, well, what is that? Um, it is acrylic pour painting. You might have seen it before, which is something like this. Um, but what I've done is bring this to you at your home. Um, so many things that you can do with this box. Let me show you what is inside. Now, you can get this for yourself or as a gift to someone else. But either way, the whole box is definitely usable so don't throw anything away so as you open you'll see you've got your paper here don't get rid of this you can protect your table with it inside you'll see that we have our canvases paint specially mixed by me we also have our cups and then of course our goodie bag now, what you'll find in here, let's open this thing up. Some of my favorite things. We've got tacks for the back of our canvas. We've got little straws as well. You'll see what they do. And one of my favorites, of course, adults must be present. We've got our little torch to pop the bubbles. And guys, this is going to be our classic box. All boxes are designed for you or your friends. However many, um, however many paintings you want to do is up to you. Or if you want to make one giant one, we've got it all as well as our Mamba Jamba. Now what is this? This is going to be our super duper deluxe box. Um, it's going to have everything that you need. Now. When, I, when you see all of these canvas, it does not mean it's just for a big party with all your friends. You can definitely just try out all kinds of different techniques with all of these canvases. We have a few different sizes here and quite a few different paints for you. So let's get started. We'll see what a few of these things do right now. We'll start with our canvas. So again, don't forget, hold on to your string because you're definitely going to be able to use it later. So we've got our canvas here, y'all. Each canvas is going to be wrapped in its own paper. That way, we know that your table is going to have the most amount of coverage that it needs. Let's move some of our handcrafted paints out of the way and make some space for you to see. Now we've got our lovely stretch canvas here. What we're gonna do is take our handy dandy tacks and just put one in each corner. And do be careful, they are sharp, just saying. And also, if you have a hard time, if you can't grip the tacks, or if you're just not Hercules, your cups can also double as like a little stand for you as well. Just as an example, you can just put them out and it'll be right on top. Just do know you have a chance of flipping it over. I've definitely destroyed a few of my paintings for that, so be very careful when doing it that way. So now we've got our tacks in. This allows for the paint to flow off the side without the canvas touching and getting stuck to our paper. So, guys, now that we got our tacks in, let's get our paints ready and get started. Alrighty, y'all, now that we've got our tacks in, we're going to get started. Now, I think we're going to do a dirty pour for our first technique. Now, what we're going to do is take a few colors and just add them right into our cup here. We can pour those right in. Now with the dirty pour, it's just throwing them right on in there. Let's see here. And you can do whatever colors you want. Everyone can actually do the same color and you're gonna see that it comes out just a little bit differently. I'm gonna throw a little gold in there. And 
and let the magic work. What I'm gonna do is give it a little color right around the edge so that when we lift that cup up, it'll have some room to move. Now something fun you can actually do is take one of your handy dandy tacks and after some of this paint gets to moving down, we can actually give it a little air by poking a hole in the side. So remember, everything in your kit is useful. We're letting those colors mix in just a little bit more. We got our little tat. And the magic is about to happen. <laughs> just going to add just a little bit more color. We've got our handy dandy torch. Now, when we talk about popping bubbles, you want to go swift movements. You don't want to burn your paint. And now let's stretch this bad boy. And now if you're saying, I love this, I love all this right here. I don't want it to go away. Just add a little into the side. And don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. Again, if you want to use the gloves, they are available. but you don't have to. I'm loving that magenta. And guys, just turn it to your heart's content. Now something, oh, I like that. These are great colors. Don't overwork it. Oh, I like that. I just feel like I sound like Bob Ross when I'm like, oh yeah, that's a happy little painting right there. Now again, something you will need for yourself, either a towel, some paper towels, Get all your little corners, you'll see right here. You can even use what you drip off to the side. And guys, I think we have a really cute masterpiece here. And again, you can continue to play, but that is going to be our dirty cup. Check out that cup, that's cool. On to our next one. Now guys, here we will be doing a little swipe. Gonna go ahead and cover our canvas. Now you can use your little sticks to cover. Mm -hmm. And get a nice coating. Edges. And of 
course for me. I again love to feel my pain. Now guys, for our swipe, we're literally going to pour it right onto the canvas. I wanna go ahead and pop these little bubbles here. Let's use a little bit of this. And you can even use your handy dandy little card that I gave you and just give it, I'll show you a few different ways. even some paper towel. And now what you see working here, bringing up those cells is gonna be, put a little bit of silicone in our paint mixture. I'm gonna get a little bit more right here. Oh yeah. I love this. You know, something that you'll realize as well, pore painting is very, very therapeutic. Like super -de duper therapeutic. I want a little bit. And even if you gotta You know what, even if you want to use your string. Have fun with your painting. They're all going to be different, everybody's. Now something I don't want you to do is over manipulate. You'll already see right here, starting to get a little bit of muddy colors. If we keep going, it could very well a little craziness, but I'm just going to stop there. That's our swipe technique, y'all. It's fun. Ooh, and more colors will end up popping up as well. This is great. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we're going to go for a bloom now. Now, you can literally, again, once again, pouring the paint directly on the canvas, we're going to put it right in the middle of each other. Now, if you have a hard time with a steady hand, you can even just take your stick and drop it in the middle as well. I'll throw a little bit of black in there. that back in the center and you can either use your mouth or use one of your handy dandy little paper straws not killing the turtles and
Give it a quick little torch. There we go. And now let's give her a little bloom a stretch. Actually. Again, you can use your palette knife if you have one, or your stick. I like using my fingers. Oh, it looks like, what is that, a peacock? And also with your straw, y'all, make sure that you're not using it for a very long time because then you're going to end up spitting all over your painting. <laughs> and it's not, I mean, that could be an extra effect. Who knows? It's a new, it's a new technique. And also the, the force in which you are blowing can affect if it just sprays all over the place or just enlarges it just a little bit. I like a little negative space. Turned into a crazy bloom, but I love it. And if you accidentally spill an entire canister of paint onto your floor, it does come up. Wow, well, guys, I love this. We're going to do one more right here. Oh, yes. Alrighty guys, we've got our stretch canvas with our tacks in it again, and we are going to do our flip cup. This is one of my favorites. I just get excited because I like flipping the cup over. I'm going to use a black base, and we'll just get it all over there. Cute little plastic mason jars. You know, I'm a typical girl, we like cute things. Get a little bit more on here. Cover our canvas. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
Definitely, guys. Do be careful. There was one time, oh my gosh, that painting was a masterpiece. They're all masterpieces, though, just to be honest. And I flipped that sucker over. I was definitely in my feelings for a while about that. All right. Now we're actually going to do two things with our cups. Because I realize we have not talked about a dragging. So we're going to flip and we're going to drag. So I'm going to layer it in here just like you would layer, say, a cocktail. Do a little tilt. Always like a little bit of white in there. Oh, I'm using an empty one. We can fix that. Let's do another one just like it. Boom. I like all the booms. Boom, boom, boom. Is that okay to do? Can I hum stuff? <laughs> Let's see. So the fun thing you'll see is dependent upon how you put it on there. So we're going to flip one. No. And we're going to drag the other. I already like the colors that are popping out of that thing. Yes. Oh my god, I love these colors. I made these colors. And I don't know why I'm whispering. to use my other canvas for this one so that was our flip oh we almost it's almost looking very flowery over there lots of webbing you'll see and also though we have a torch you don't always have to use it these shimmery colors are awesome And I'm just taking it down to get my corner here and spread this on over. I want to get that pink down to the edge. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Same ones. Let's give it a base here. Still in our cup, and we're going to drag this one instead of flipping it over. That's interesting what my little bit of white did in there. I always like just a touch of white sometimes. Just a touch. Oh my gosh. I do talk to myself in a regular as well. Again, y'all, this can be for your friends, for yourself. Either way, it's super relaxing. And something awesome about these boxes that <clears throat> even if you want to have a paint party and you're not even in the same state, we can do it virtually. You and all your family from all over the country. Everybody can get the same box, same colors, and you all make different masterpieces. So, now that we've got our lovely base, same colors as here, and we're just going to drag it.
Gosh, I love the glitter. The shimmer makes it look so cool. Hence why I have two. And y'all can use like a big kitchen torch as well, but I like these little bitty ones. It's something we don't want to forget about, guys. It's our fun little picks. And you can use this in so many different ways. You can use the little frilly side and drag through, or you can pick hairs out with that side, which is awesome. Or make You'd be surprised the things that people use to make art. It really is limitless. If you took it. I almost forgot y'all were here. This is awesome. Gonna get a little... I don't want to move it too much because I like what it did. And folks, don't forget, make sure your area is level. Otherwise, your painting is going to turn into something else while you sleep. Sometimes that can be a really cool thing. Like sometimes I've definitely set it up in order for it to move in my sleep to be surprised the next day. And sometimes the surprise was like, hey, that's garbage. But it is all in the eye of the beholder. Get your corners good. And voila, we've got our drag and a little bit of picking with it. Y'all, thank you so much for joining us at K. Michelle Art. Please do follow us at, on Instagram at kmichelleart81 and check out our uh, boxes as well as all the artwork at www.kmichelleart.com. Thank you so much, guys.